guys, I'm here today to start doing my book con and book expo and pre book con and book expo book haul. So this video is going to contain everything that I got as trades from my friends, blog bound, and the first day of BEA, which is when most of the publishers aren't there. So it's like the pre the pre professional day, and I went there and I went to a couple of panels and. I got a lot of stuff from my kids, I'll be honest, at the gym, but I wanted to share it with you guys and just let you guys know what I got. These videos are going to be long, so you may want to grab a snack. <laughs> um, so the way the convention week worked for me is that I went to a pro um, an event on Tuesday night, um, and it was called Blogbound. It's where bloggers go, and there's a bunch of panels. Alexa and Mackie were there, and they were talking. They were on a couple of panels, and I really loved them, and so seeing them live and in person was super fun. But I did actually get a lot of couple of trades from my friends. Um, so my friend Jen wound up gifting me Star Wars The Fork Awakens, Star Wars The Novelization, and I always love to reread the novelization of a movie after I watch it because I like to get inside the characters' heads, and she was no longer going to read this. So this is add to my to, to my personal collection which I'm really excited about um she also was my my friend Jen was also able to go to a signing for Furyborn for me um and she wound up getting it signed for me I actually finished reading Furyborn right before I went to BNA and really enjoyed it I thought it was a super interesting read um and yeah so this was another book that I just really liked and wanted to have a complete book for my collection Um, my friend Jen, my friend Sarah, who is my co-blogger, also recently finished A Festival of Ghosts by William Alexander, and she was not the biggest fan of this book, but I love middle grade, so I asked her if I could borrow it, and she said yes. And after this, after I read this, I will probably hand it over to the kids at the gym. But I heard it's a really, really cute. Um, and also, part of that day at Blogbound, um, we went on a tour of Bloomsbury, and we got to tour their places, their offices and see like where all the magic takes place and one of the arcs we got out of that was The Girl King by Mimi Yu. This does not come out till 2019. I cannot promise I won't read it before then because it just sounds so so good. It's a historical fiction novel set in China I think and it's supposed to be awesome so I really cannot wait to dive into this novel and I'll definitely let you guys know my thoughts when I'm done. Um, so Blogbound, the way Blogbound typically works is there is two panels or three panels that you go to before, and I went to the two panels, and then at the end of the panel they have a room full of arcs and you can pick whatever you want. Um, I felt bad because not everyone got arcs this year, but I grabbed what I wanted and these will always be up for trade or giveaway at the end. Um, but I did wind up getting um, Sadie by Courtney Summers. This is comes out in September, and I think this is... Um, I'm gonna read you guys the little blurb. Um, growing up in an isolated small town was not easy for 19-year-old Sadie and her younger sister Maddie, but their bond is impenetrable. When the unthinkable happened and Maddie is found dead, Sadie vows to do whatever it takes to avenge her sister's murder. This sounds like another psychological thriller, and I'm really excited to dive into this. I'm reading Broken Things by Lauren Oliver, and I think that this will be a very, very similar type of book. And that book comes out in September. Um, another book that I picked up by Sophie Jordan is The Me I Meant to Be, and this does not come out until January 2019, so I'm definitely going to probably wind up reading this relatively soon because I really like to read contemporaries over the summer. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to read this, and I will definitely add this to my TBR over the summer. Um, the next book that I get was The Hanging Girl by Aline Cook, and this actually already came out, but it has to do with, um like tarot readings. Um, I'm going to read you guys the back because it's a little bit easier. Um, Sky Thorne has given, has given tarot card readings for years, but this time her psychic visions are helping the police find the town's missing golden girl, Paige Bonnet. Paige kidnapping was supposed to be easy. No one would get hurt, and Sky would get the money she needed to start a new life. But seemingly harmless prank turns deadly, and she realizes the people involved with her are willing to kill to get what they want, and she must discover their true identity before it's too late. From the author of With Malice. I was not the biggest fan of With Malice, so I'm wondering how I will feel about this book. But I will definitely report back. I did also get chemistry lessons from this, but I wound up reading that during BA and wound up giving it to my friend. But I do talk about that and review it in my reading blog. Um, and the last one that I wound up getting was What the, what the Woods Keep by Kataya D. Bakaria. 
Um, and this is doesn't come out until September. Um, and I think, um, yeah, it sounds a little bit like um, the wood that I read last year that I got from Blogbound. It sounds like a little bit similar to that. But I'm really excited for it as well. There also is another book that I will talk about in a video later because I can't find it right now. But those are all the books that I got from Blogbound. Now these are the books that I got from the first day of BEA. Um, and there was a, not a lot of pub publishers opened at all. Um, but these were the few things that I wanted to say. Most of them are, are for my kids. It was from Fierce Freeze, and it is an advanced reader's copy of Wonderland by Bar Barbara O'Connor. This is a middle grade novel, but it follows four, three kids, and their lives kind of unexpectedly connect over a summer. It sounds really cute. I actually did hear about this before BEA and BookCon, and I really hoped to snag a copy. So I was really excited. And this comes out in August. Um... <laughs> This is a funny story. I was walking past this booth like nine times and I saw this Charlie and the Tortoise and it's basically like, um, Charlie, like, he's like a little um, scientist, but I love this book and I wound up getting a free copy. I will definitely be reading this to my kids and it might actually go to my nephew because it is so cute. And I actually wound up my keeping this because if I wound up working with little kids, this would be a great way to start like a science unit. But this, the, the illustrations are so cute and this is from Tiny Thinkers and it is from the Selecular Media Group, and they have a bunch of them. I think that they said they're having... Oh, this is based on Ron Charles Darwin, sorry. But they have a bunch of other ones about famous scientists as little kids, and I just think that they're so adorable. So if you're looking for kind of a fun way for, like, your classrooms, I think that, that this would be, like, like, a great teaching tool, but also just great pictures and artwork. The kids will love it. So, yeah, this was one thing that I got that I was just handed to me, and I really loved it, and I was happy that I got a copy so I could share with, hopefully, with, with my students and also my kids at the gym up soon. So, this was really, really cute. Um, I also picked up this. Um, I was there at most of BEA with my friend Tiffany, and she is a big science, um, a history buff, and I want to start reading more history. So, this is a book that I want to pick up. It's called... The Heart of the White Rose and its Letters and Diaries of Hans and Sophie Scholl. And I think that this is set around Nazi Germany and it's told mostly through letters. And it sounded really interesting. And I know it's a little bit of an emotional read, but I did find it super interesting. So that'll be something I hopefully pick up soon. I also did go to the Adult Buzz panel at um, BEA and I got like six books from it but I wound up only keeping one. I don't read a lot of adult fiction and those were mostly memoirs. The only one that I wound up personally keeping was The Real Louisa, The Kidnapping of Sally Horner and the novel that scandalized the world and this comes out in September. I really love the pitch for this and there was a couple of other ones. There was the Girl That Would Be King, there was Maid, there was um, one about parenting, and there was another one, but I gave those to other friends, but this is the one that I wound up keeping from that panel, and this comes out in September. September. There's a lot of September books, um, but this is another one that I got, and it's for my kids. It's Sam Who Was Not Afraid of Ghosts, and this is an Indie Next nominee, and it comes out in October. I think what I'm going to do for the um, for the children books is I might read them if I can and then just do a preview post on my blog and then give these away to the kids at the gym. Um, and I also got this. This is from Fierce Reads and it's The Joy of Cookies by Cookie Monster. These books are so cute and I'll definitely be sharing these with the kids at the gym. Um, I also picked up Nocturnals, The Slithery Shakedown. They also do have a middle grade series, but this is for basically for younger readers. And I did get the sign to the kids at the gym. So I hope that they wind up liking this. And the last book I got from that day was this Potato Pants, um, Advanced Readers Edition. And this is another book that I'm sure that the kids will love to read at the gym. So those are all the books that I got from pre-BEA and BuckCon. My next haul will be BEA and then my BuckCon haul. And those will be ridiculously long. So I hope you guys stick around. Let me know what book you guys are most excited to see me review in the comments below. And I will try to get to it in a more timely fashion. I also am going to do a, um, my reading plans review for the summer. Because I got a lot of books and I really want to read them all. But I'm going to say what, what genres and how I'm going to choose the books that I read. So make sure you guys check out that video. It will hopefully up, be up by the end of the week. But I'll talk to you guys later.